Catherine, what a boost uh, for Marion Le Pen, uh, something uh, of a, a taste of revenge for her. Uh, she's managed to make a comeback after, of course, she lost the presidential election to Emmanuel Macron exactly two years ago. Exactly, and that's how Marine Le Pen and the man heading up her list of these new European elections had framed this vote as a referendum against Macron. They said this was French voters' chance to give him a slap in the face, to vote him down just ahead of the uh, polling. On the last day of campaigning, the uh, national rally, Marine Le Pen and her allies here, they said, get out and vote. They implored French voters, come out and vote against Macron, vote for us, and don't let Macron finish first. They said their aim for this election campaign was to show the French president that he couldn't continue politics as normal in France. And you can probably hear the cheers behind me tonight. They're going to be very satisfied with this. Their aim here was to knock, knock Macron off, off the, uh, the top spot, excuse me, and to finish first in these elections. And that's what these exit poll results show that they've done. So a very triumphant atmosphere here indeed. They'll now be looking forward to how they can transform this into momentum at a European level. Uh, and Catherine, Marine Le Pen has not been... Uh, has not just been campaigning against Emmanuel Macron. She's also been working hard, hasn't she, to build alliance across Europe with other far-right movements, uh, such as Matteo Salvini's uh, far-right party in Italy, uh, the Alternative for Germany as well. Um, many other parties seeking to build this anti-European bloc uh, in Europe. Absolutely. That's going to be crucial going forward. And it's been a real turning point, really, in the politics of Marine Le Pen and her party, because in the 2017 election campaign, she was talking about pulling out of the Eurozone. They were flirting with the idea of a Frexit, of France leaving the EU. They're not talking about that anymore. What she's doing now is trying to build up these alliances with far-right parties right across Europe, notably with Matteo Salvini, in Italy. In fact, we were told by a leading member of the uh, organization for the party here that in the coming days, Marine Le Pen will be heading to meet Matteo Salvini once again coming out of these elections. We weren't told exactly where or when, but watch out for that. And they said now that the way, the reason they've changed tack on Europe, that rather than trying to get out of Europe, they're going to try and change it from within by building these alliances that before they felt isolated on the European scene, but no longer. Now they feel they have allies right across the board. It's about putting the brakes on the European integrationist project. We'll talk a bit more about that later.